Oh, looks like I'm doing some defending again. So anyways, <clears throat> apparently the director of the previous Fantastic Four movie said he was unfairly ridiculed. So let's just have a look at this. All right, so I usually defend, but let me just go on the freaking in quotations, friends, your fans, and read crap. So let me think about this. So one thing they hated was what happened with Doctor Doom and all the interest stuff and stuff and stuff. So he wasn't from that area. He's just a random person, and he didn't look like Doctor Doom whatsoever. We already got a fucking Doctor Doom like a freaking deal a few years ago, you dumb bastards. It's like, yeah, did you like the original Fox Fantastic Four? There was your Doctor Doom, okay? Not to mention, um, you guys wanted it to be a certain way, but the thing is that he based it off the Ultimates. <gasps> the Ultimate Comics, oh my gosh! Was it exactly the same thing as the 616? Oh my gosh, it wasn't. Oh my gosh. So it's like, yeah, that's the first thing you guys are flawed upon. It's the fact that the Ultimates had dark themes. I mean, I just saw like the first issue and the first issue, it was something. Yeah, um, the fact of something about government and stuff like that. It's like, the Ultimate Fantastic Four, period, has issues. Not comic issues, but issues in its own self. The fact that they had no idea of being like, okay, so Spider-Man met them when they were adults. But we want to make them teenagers. And then eventually they did a freaking time jump two years. It's like, my goodness. Yeah, it, I don't even understand because... And no one's freaking covering it or anything. Not even Comic Story. And not even... Um, just no one is actually doing the thing that I'm like, please, someone do it. I want to see what happened with the Ultimate Future Foundation. I want to understand what the fuck is going on. Because after Ultimatum, we're just like, yeah, yeah. If you really, truly want to be like, oh, but no, no, you're wrong, man. You're wrong. The 616 and the Ultimate's the same damn thing. So we respect the same exact thing, but it told in a different way. Yeah, um, look at Ultimatum and you tell me, okay? Look at Ultimatum and you tell me. Because Ultimatum, there is so much crap that happened from the fact of Blob eating Janet Van Dyme and then Giant Man taking the blob and just biting his head off and spitting it out his mouth. Yeah, it's dark. So get off that guy's back. And not to mention again, the reason why it was already stated why it was dark. The reason why it was a dark themed is because they were trying to eventually do a crossover with X-Men. You dumb bastards. Not to mention, I wanted this to succeed so we can have two extra movies, make it a freaking damn trilogy, so we can have an evil Reed, Reed Richards, because guess what usually happens with MCU? The MCU basically does stuff that hasn't been done before, which means that if evil Reed Richards is still on the table... <gasps> That means the MCU could make an evil Reed Richards and we'll have that whole entire storyline and I don't want that in the MCU. That's why I wish you allowed that guy to take it off the table so I'm like, Phew. instead of, oh frick, they can do it. There is a chance they can actually fucking do it. And not to mention, it's like, Spider-Man. He doesn't have any dark tones with him. He's he's light and like usual. But the thing is that notice the fact that there's so much stress he has to go through. Do you think the stress that Reed Richards has to go through won't break him? MCU stress. And you think it's not going to break him. I'm just trying to say you guys should have just allowed it to freaking do its course because either way, Fox is most likely was doomed. Get it? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I just said doomed. But it's like, they most likely could have just continued on, make the trilogy, show Reed Richards turn evil, 
then that will be off the table and we can have the Fantastic Four we want instead of the Fantastic Four that's completely different. But we got Fantastic Four. Hey, but Reed Richards is evil. Oh boy, man. Just a freaking son of a Yeah, I'm sorry. I just mm -mm. I just can't do this, man. It's like I just can't do this. All right, I just can't do this. It's just my goodness, because they're going to do something. They're going to do something different with Fantastic Four. And it's like, I really hope when it comes right down to it, they won't do it. And again, I would love it to be off the table instead of be like, boo, this movie sucks. Boo, oh my God. boo. And it's like, yeah, and the topic is not off the table. Freaking damn it. And that's the real reason why I don't like this is because I wanted to see what happens when we get an Evo Ray Richards. I don't care if it's Marvel doing it or Fox was doing it. Just do it. Just do it. And I know there was like some messed up stuff from the movie, just the fact of the thing storyline, and not to mention the meddling period of the whole entire script and stuff. Thanks a lot, Fox. And Oh, is there, I forgot what else they talked about. I was like, oh, well, yeah, um, it's a bad movie. It's horrible. It's badly done. It's like, I think it was all right. It was an all right movie. The thing is that origin source is like, yeah, it's like, oh, Power Rangers. This movie sucked ass too. And it's like, origin story movies usually is slow as fuck. Okay, there's a reason why Spider-Man didn't do his origin story yet again, besides we've seen it, it's been done, but again, it would just be a boring freaking retelling, again. And that's one thing about origins is that they're pretty damn boring. At times, they're pretty damn ass boring. So I'll come over here and be like, oh my god, this movie sucks. It's like, yeah, um, give it a sequel, then we can see how much it really sucks. It's like, geez, it's like, you can't freaking knock it if it's the origin story. You can't knock it because origin stories are origin stories. At times, yes, you could actually get a good origin story and a good movie that actually has some good stuff to it. But there's many times where the origin story is just a setup and the sequel, they can just let everything hang loose. They can actually wreck loose. But you didn't allow that for Power Rangers, and you didn't allow it for Fantastic Four. Uh, it's kind of funny too. Listening now, it's like, oh yeah, um, they wanted to make Reed Richards black too, but Fox said no black women. <laughs> oh my gosh, damn, just just damn. I kind of want to see that too. It's like I kind of do want to see that too, though. It's like yeah, I kind of do want to see that too. <laughs> it's like my goodness. I think that's about it. Yeah, it's like, what else is there that people were pissed off about the movie besides Doctor Doom? I think that's basically all that was the thing that people were pissed off about is, oh no, Doctor Doom's not from Liberia. Oh my goodness, Doctor Doom doesn't look like Doctor Doom. Oh my gosh, this. Oh my gosh, that. Shut the fuck up and allow a sequel to happen, bastards. Allow the sequel to happen, then kick their ass. It's like, let the sequel happen, show the sequel, totally sucked ass, then beat the shit out of them. You can't just beat the shit out of them because of the origin story. It's like, if you did, there's so many movies, which they didn't get sequels, but there's so many movies that you could bash too. Like, for each, like, yeah, there's just so many movies bash too. Like, The Phantom, for instance. I love that movie. It is origin story, somewhat, and it didn't even get a sequel. Yeah. Green Lantern, people bashed the hell out of it, but it's like, yeah, but the sequel could actually prove to actually been good. But you didn't show that crap, did you? You didn't allow it at all. You know, I would just end it by saying that, yeah, he was treated unfairly. He really was. Y'all guys just straight up screwed it over instead of just allowing it. It's like, yeah, if you guys want to shit the fuck up and let's see what really happens if you shit the fuck up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, most likely I think it would have been, you know, it would have hit maybe. It's like, how the fuck? It's like, yeah, wait a minute. How the fuck can you freak over this movie? But you allow Green Hornet by freaking self dumbass Rogan to, to not get freaking screwed over. You should have raped that one up the ass. It's like, yeah, so 
more than anything, it's like, yeah, he was treated unfairly, all right, because you guys didn't even freaking beat the shit out of freaking Green Hornet. The fuck? Look at the Green Hornet TV show. It was going to be an awesome as hell movie, but you allowed Seth Rogen to do it. Where is the freaking fairness in that shit? It's like you guys should have bashed the hell out of Green Hornet. It, it's like it didn't get a sequel, thank goodness, but still, I would love it to actually have the same score as Fantastic Four if we really want to actually set the record straight. Because most likely it performed better than it. And it's like, yeah, but dude, the fuck? It's like, at least they didn't go goofy with the Fantastic Four. At least they didn't go goofy. They didn't go goofy at all. It's like, yeah, Dr. Doom, maybe his face got messed up. The f yeah, true. But still, is it better than having the Green Hornet, Green Hornet, their hero, going from someone who actually is very, very capable to being a goofy bastard ass that actually is maybe even a parody of freaking damn Batman. It's like, just, yeah, he was treated unfairly.